Hey everyone, I'm the 13th Wolfman. You know what? This is my second review for a movie by Emilio Murillo. Um, this one is for The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. So Arrow got together and Arrow put together a box set for Emilio Morello uh, movies. He's got, they got uh, The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, which I've done a review for, and The Red Queen Kills Seven Times, which this is a review for that. The Red Queen Kills Seven Times is a very interesting story. It's about, uh, well, two sisters, and I believe one's a cousin. They never really, they never really tackle who the third girl is, right? Again, it's the the girl that's in this movie that I'm talking about, not saying who she was, uh, is played by Mar is played by Marina Manfredi. She was in a she was in the night Evelyn came out of the, out of the grave. She played Gladys Cunningham, and in this movie she plays Franzine, not Francine, but there's a Z in there. Franzine Wildenbrook. And I think she's supposed to be the cousin to the other two, the two that are sisters, Kitty and Evelyn. Yeah, another movie with the, another movie from Emilio with one of the, with one of the women named Evelyn. Who knew? Evelyn and Kitty Wildenbrook and Francine Wildenbrook are all raised by pretty much their grandfather in a castle. Again, another castle. And uh, when they're in their teenage years. Evelyn Wildenbrook mysteriously dies. Kitty Wildenbrook and Evelyn are, are sisters where, like I said, I'm not sure what Franzine is. I think it's her cousin. We fast forward to when they're a little bit older. You know, they're, they're, that's back when they were in their teens. And now they're like in their early 20s, early to mid 20s. And um, Kitty has a, has a successful job as a, fashion photographer, Franzine lives at home at the castle taking care of their grandfather. The grandfather dies mysteriously and the will says that everything is to be divided up divided up. We we find out later that there's a a, a sub a subcategory to the will, let's put it that way. I won't say what it is because it's actually pretty juicy. So this movie is well done, well written, and uh, well acted. I just love these Italian, you know, Italian horror. It's not, it's horror, but it's more, more thriller than horror, you know. Like I said, uh, Marlene Manfredi's in it. This is, she did this movie, she did The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, and she also did another really good Italian movie, Umberto Lenzi's Seven Bloodstained Orchids. Now you got... The, the one that plays Kitty, her name is... The one that plays Kitty is Barbara Boucher. Uh, I, the movie that I knew her from before this movie was actually uh, The Black Billy of the Tarantula, which was a really cool movie. Yeah, you guys are going to be going, What the hell, Wolfman? You're making me look up all these movies. But yeah, so again, back to the movie, The Red Queen Kills Seven Times. This, the title refers to this story, there's this painting in the castle, and when we, we see the two girls, we see Kitty and Evelyn when they're like, some like six or eight years old, and there's this painting in the background, and, and Evelyn loves this painting, it's, the, it's like these two old ladies going at it, you know, and one's trying to stab the other, and it's the Red Queen and the White Queen, and the story goes is that there's a red queen and a white queen, and um, they're sisters. And one sister has so much jealousy for the other sister that she kills her. So you think, okay, well, that's that's the simplest story ever. But supposedly this isn't just a story, it's a curse. It seems like whenever there's sisters in the family, and it happens almost like every hundred years, one sister winds up killing the other sister. It's been It's happened like four, three or four times, if I remember right. So, like, over three or four hundred years, there's been a red queen and a white queen. And Evelyn keeps on saying, I'm the red queen, you're the white queen. So, she the red, the red queen is the one that kills. And 
she's a little nut job, and uh, so when she becomes a teenager, she she basically harasses her sister, Kitty, a lot. You know, um, I love this movie. I think it's another another one of those movies that's beautifully shot, well done. I, I said before it was well written. I think uh, I think this is one that everyone should, you know, go out find. It's not that hard to find. There's a box set out there from Arrow called Killer Dames. It's a two, like I said, it's a two movie set. You got both movies from Emilio Morello. Um, just go out there, find it, and watch it, man. You got two great movies. What would I give this movie? This movie, just like The Night Evelyn Came Out of the Grave, is a three and a half chainsaw out of four movie easy. There's there's some pacing here and there that it kind of gets slow in the middle of, so I can understand that. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to try and find the trailer for The Red Queen Kills Seven Times and put it down below. You can click on a link, check it out. Um, with that, do me a favor, like, sub like, subscribe, and share this, and comment down the below, t below, comment down below, and tell me what you think. With that, of course, I am the 13th Wolfman, and I'm on the prowl.